Well, for a brass player, you can never have too many fanfares on a concert. And the next fanfare is probably the most popular for brass, Aaron Copeland's The Fanfare for the Common Man. Uh, composed in 1942, uh, really as a response to the United States going into war. And while all these other composers are writing music for the heroes uh, in war, he's writing a fanfare for the common person, for the wife left behind, the children. This, this is who the fanfare is for. Um, before uh, we play this next piece, uh, I just want to talk about some of the people in this ensemble, because without them, this wouldn't be possible. Um, so if you are a high school student, could you please stand up? students, very advanced high school students from local high schools in our area. Cash, Elgin, Lawton High, Eisenhower, MacArthur. Did I forget any? Yeah, so let's give another hand for these high school students. We also have uh, some university students in the ensemble. So if you're a university student in any capacity, that means even concurrent, please stand. Or wave your hand, the professionals are also. And then everyone else stand up. So these people, yeah, they're band directors, uh, local musicians. hobby musicians, we've got doctors, uh, all sorts of people in the group. I want to give just a special thanks to a trombonist that has helped uh, fill out the ensemble. One of the trombonists that was playing, uh, one of the difficult parts, was not able to play kind of a, sort of the last minute, just a week ago, and Dusty Higgins, who lives in Shawnee, agreed to fill in. So thank you, Dusty. Thank you. 